to all my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be your channel message for the month of May. All right, so you guys are highly motivated. You're ready to get the party started, and you're ready to make moves as far as your goals go. You're goal-oriented. You have your eyes on the prize, but let's check out the reading. Hi, guys. This message is for my wonderful Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of May. I'm Sade, here with Light Magic 2, bro, and, and let's get into it. But first, we got to get a little bit of uh, the rules down. So, time is fluid, time is relative. So, this is relevant when you see it. Thank you very much. Um, this could have happened in the past already. This could currently be happening or this could occur in the future. With that being said, I want you to go ahead and switch the energies because I pick up on energies, whether it be feminine or masculine, not necessarily male or female. Um, and if it doesn't resonate with you, check out your rising sign, check out your moon sign, check out your Venus sign. You are encouraged to do so. Um, other than that, I want to let you guys know if you want to book a personal reading, information is going to be below this video. Uh, if you like the video, click the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, please hit the subscribe button. And if you think that it can help somebody, share it. Duh. Um, other than that, you can catch me daily on um, on Instagram under Light Magic Magic with a K uh, to row, or you can check me out on Facebook under Light Magic to row. You can also book appointments on that platform. To be truthfully honest. Other than that, let's go ahead and jump into the reading. I'm going to pull um, your energy for the month of May 2020. Hi, Virgos. You guys are motivated. When I was meditating off of your energy, I was meditating on your energy. Um, I heard the song... Motivation by T.I. Motivation. I don't know what y'all got cooking, but you're cooking something for sure. <laughs> you got something cooking. And it's something um, business oriented, to be truthfully honest, for a vast majority of you guys. Oh, nice. And then you guys are um, going to get an adjacent opportunity. So something that you thought was going to work out is not going to end up working out, but there will be something else that's going to come into fruition. Good job. Good good job blowing it up. Yeah, Honey, I'm on the I'm recording. Good job. I'll talk to you afterwards, okay? Jeez. You guys will not believe it. But everybody is working on their second chakra, on their sacral chakra. I mean everybody. I swear it came out for literally every sign. If not every sign that I've already read for at least like let me think at least like four out of the six videos that i've done already um that's why i see why uh most readers do collective reads because for the most part the themes are typically general sometimes they're a little bit different for each time but it's just like minuscule differences all right so somebody's gonna be appreciating you they're gonna be thinking that you lovely <laughs> You might get some flowers or something like that. But somebody has their eye on you, beautiful. Okay? So, you will be very intuitive. You will be with the shit. So, listen to your guts when it comes down to matters of the heart. Um, you also may be seeing a lot of fours. So, 4-4 four, four may be very important this month. This is what smacked out really, really quickly. This is the second chakra. This is the sacral chakra. This is important for sexual energy. This is important uh, for having confidence. So there's a chance that it could be blocked and, or you could be getting a down mode that's going to affect your sacral chakra. However, confidence will be an issue and courage will be something that you'll be kind of exploring this month, um, Virgos. So this is what you motivated to get to. You see that? Money. Somebody say money. <laughs> so 31 breaks down to a four, right? Four is the number for stability. So you will be building your wealth, okay? You're working, you're motivated to build your wealth. Build your wealth. That's what it is. And then at the bottom of the deck, 
just want to let you know that there will be some family time. There'll be some time to spend with your loved ones. And it will be exciting and fun. Okay? Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and clarify the cards. Now, one thing I can say is that, yes, we're going to clarify the energy cards. But I must say... This reading already feels pretty complete, and I know that it's pretty succinct, but for the most part, it feels complete. I'm going to clarify each card and kind of elaborate a little bit, but it feels pretty complete. Okay, the person who's going to be appreciating you is the person that you left out in the code or the person that you ghosted. Or whoever this is, this is just somebody that you don't really like. So that's who's going to be all in your face like, I like you, I love you, I love you, okay? And this is a soulmate, so there's a lesson to be learned with this person. They're going to come back in and shock the hell out of you. Okay. So, um, when it comes down to this new beginning, make sure that you listen to your heart. Now, to let you know that spirit said what they said. Because a lot of times when, you know, they said what the message was going to be, you're going to get the same card out. Okay? So, what you can tell is in a different deck, the same card came out, the Queen of Cups, okay? This is an intuitive person listening to their gut. They are very wise about how um, they operate emotionally, okay? And she has a subtle power. Be very precautious as you start this new beginning with this person that you had some type of ugh, in the past with, okay? Ooh, okay. So this is for the sacral chakra. It is going to be a slow moving interaction. It's probably going to start off with a text message, something really small, minuscule, and then it's going to explode because this is meant to be, baby. Look at the wheel of fortune. <laughs> that's some good luck this is divine timing and this is intense sexual sexual energy it's a lot of passion here um this is someone who intuitively knows how to hit the spot and hit it good and they may be an earth sign could be a capricorn could be a taurus could be a virgo okay or this could be you to be truthfully honest but whoever this is knows their way around money they are confident um this is someone that's very responsible like i said it could be you as well though but whatever the case is this person is ready they are ready for the whole shindig either you left them out in the cold and they had to take some time to rethink their whole life but whatever the case is they got their shit together because they want to move in they want to get married they want to start a future with you they ready but i want to say that you are mostly focused focused on this money the door to value spirit please clarify uh the door to value there'll be a lot of communication there'll be a lot of communication via text this month not so much like with your significant other, but definitely in regards to money, your significant other. Like you'll just be, you'll be communicating very swiftly um, this month. All right. So it's going to be important for you to research. Do enough research with this business venture that you're going into. Do not let someone tell you what they think is going to happen. You do the research, okay? And you will have to make a decision. The funny thing about it is that although you think you have two options and you come to a crossroad, no matter where you go, which side you end up taking, you're going to end up at the same destination. One isn't going to be shorter than the other. So go with your gut. Go with the one that feels the best. And when you go with it, and you're going to be walking into your nine of coins energy, honey. And what does nine of coins energy look like? It is the baby empress. She ready. Okay, he ready. He got his coins together, honey. There's money in the bank. The skin is popping. Your body is popping. Everything is going good. You are abundant. You attract every little thing that you desire, especially the bag. Okay? So, all right, Virgos, that was your reading for the month of May 2020. 
Um, if you want to book a personal reading, please go ahead and check me out. Check out the information below. Check me out on Instagram, okay? Under Light Magic, Magic with the K. Share it if um, you feel it can help somebody. And like it if you liked it. Bye, guys. I love you, love you, love you. Signing off for Sharday. I'll see you next time.